Russia Day, June the 12th, was remembered by the Russians for a number of events. In Yekaterinburg, in honor of the holiday, a monument made of rails was opened in the form of a symbol of Putin's war, the letter Z. They opened their own Russian McDonald's knockoff in Moscow. This interested the Russians more than concerts and awards in the Kremlin under Putin's stories about his resemblance to Peter the Great. The Emperor of Peter the Great, this year we celebrate the 350th anniversary of his birth. A brand new fast food, Vkusno i Tochka, or delicious and that's it, in Russian, opened under a logo borrowed from a Portuguese pet food company. Under the guise of new products, they sold what was left of the McDonald's that had previously left the Russian market. They only painted over the emblem on the sauces with markers. The visitors even staged a protest. Bring back the Big Mac. It's another reality. Russians with anti-war views decided to use the so-called holiday to oppose the war in Ukraine. People went out to rallies, which ended in the same way, detention and protocol for discrediting the Russian army. An anti-war banner right next to the walls of the Ministry of Defense with an inscription in red paint on the flag of the Russian Federation. Today is not my day. This is a protest by activist Anton Maugashdarov and his friends. The artist was detained at home and taken to one of the Moscow police stations. Two protocols were drawn up against Maugashdarov at once, according to OVD Info a Russian human rights organization under articles on disobedience to police officers and repeated violation of the order of the act. Whether the activist is charged with discrediting the army is still unknown. The message of the rally was explained as follows. Today is just not our day. Our Independence Day, which we will surely celebrate soon enough, will be a day of independence from imperial ambitions. Organizers of the anti-war rally in Moscow in an interview with Radio Liberty. According to the human rights organization OVD Info, on June the 12th, 67 activists were detained for protesting against the war in Ukraine. One of them is Maxim Fedoseev. In Vladivostok, he went to a one-man picket with a poster Start denazification from yourself. The guy had a so-called conversation at the police station. Alexander Metza received a protocol on discrediting the Russian army. He was detained for the night for a picket under a huge Z letter on the facade of the Moscow Tabakov Theater. On the poster was the inscription Remove. Z is the symbol of murder. There is nothing to be proud of. It is a shame. In St. Petersburg near the metro station Park Pobiede or Victory Park, the police detained Andrei Olivieri, who went on a protest with a poster, the worst sin for a politician is to cling to his chair with his hands and teeth. For Putin's quote, the security forces drew up a protocol on violation of coronavirus restrictions. Priest Ioan Kormoyarov was sent to jail for two months. He faces up to 10 years in prison for a video stating that Russian soldiers will not go to heaven because they are murderers. The priest's lawyer, Andrei Kuruvayev, is not allowed to visit him. We will not find ourselves in any heaven, because blessed peacekeepers find themselves in the kingdom of heaven, and the one who unleashed aggression, he will not meet paradise. Due to the pressure of the security forces and the status of a foreign agent in Russia, the Committee Against Torture self-liquidated. The chairman of the organization said the Human Rights Association in the courts helped Russians fight against beatings and violence during detentions in police stations and prisons. The committee promised to complete 188 cases of violence against detainees already in a new status, the status of a traitor in the Russian Federation. Apparently, the authorities give a signal that torture is becoming, or has already become, part of state policy and is not a problem. Here I would like to remind you about the constitution where torture is prohibited, for now. Sergei Babinets, chairman of the Committee Against Torture, on Facebook.
Our grandmother was given a gift for the day of Russia. Let's see what she's got. While the security forces were detaining activists, Russian pensioners were congratulated on the day of Russia. This unpacking was published by the Belarusian telegram channel Nexta. Among the so-called presents are a postcard, peas, oatmeal, pasta, and a half-rotten lemon, canned food and... What a gift for the holiday! Pensioners will immediately eat porridge with meat? The Vesna movement has launched a service for sending anti-war letters to Russian deputies. The action is called Impeachment 2.0. In a few clicks and absolutely safely, the organizers say you can send a letter to any deputy demanding Putin's resignation and an end to the war. We believe that if Putin remains in power, there will be no Russia. His actions directly lead to the destruction of the country. Whether we get the impeachment or not is not so important. The main thing is to show the deputies that the people of Russia want peace. Putin is a war criminal. Moreover, Putin is a dictator. It is important to recognize that the hybrid regime has finally evolved into a classic dictatorship. Vesna movement on Telegram. Putin is killing Russians and Ukrainians. Stop the war. Such a message was observed for about an hour on the website of an online multimedia platform for watching Russian TV channels. A hacker anti-war attack interrupted the marathon of Russian patriotic in quotes, sons, where the motherland begins. Reported by Pavel Stelmach, Julia Bezborodko, UATV News.